So the recent Pertussis epidemic in Austria has affected us in the sense of how many tests and how many patient samples we need to process daily. Our laboratory in 2024 experienced over 7,000 requests of pertussis uh, bacteria testing, so Bordadella pertussis and parapertussis. And then we were experiencing, it was almost a six time increase from what we were having previous years. With this automated machinery, it's also allowed us to have a very, very quick turnaround time. So from when the sample enters our laboratory, we're able to then process it and then have it with running in our um, qPCR machine immediately. And it's about three hours turnaround time from when the sample arrives at our lab to when we're able to then report it to the physicians. And another great thing was the fact that the machine allowed us to do multiple different sample types all in one um, DNA extraction run. So we were able to do swabs and liquid medium, as well as aspirate and sputum, which we saw throughout the Patasis outbreak. Those were the, the number one sample types that we were receiving. So for Bordadella Patasis and Parapatasis uh, testing in our laboratory, it was very, very important for us to use PCR diagnostics because of the high sensitivity and high specificity that it allows us um, to test for, as well as the differentiation between the species themselves. QPCR uh, kits that we are currently using, so the TACPATH GenePROOF uh, Bordadella Potassis kit allows that differentiation because it targets both species and will give us a reliable, uh, very highly sensitive, very highly specific and reliable result for us to report. And as well, it's very important for us for QPCR diagnostics specifically because it also is so fast. Turnaround is so fast and with a species of bacteria like Bordadella pertussis, it's very, very important when we have the actual clinical diagnosis in order to then treat the patient. So the faster that the patient is able to get that information or the faster the physician is able to get that information, the better outcome the patient has. One of the main uh, reasons might be the decreasing proportion of population immunized during uh, the last two decades, which might be due to less vaccine uptake, uh, uptake of the priming, and in addition also uh, vaccine hesitancy concerning the booster, the first and the following boosters in particular considering the waning uh, vaccine-induced immunity. Second reason might be upcoming uh, genomically changed strains, uh, which also might have uh, immune-evasive uh, strains, including, including, for example, the patactin deficient strains. And third, less uh, uh, important compared to the other two, Two uh, reasons might be intensifying the surveillance during the epidemic. We should be prepared in terms uh, of uh, improving uh, the direct uh, diagnostics uh, in pertussis because this makes uh, early detection possible and so also early antibiotic treatment. Only antibiotic treatment at the early phase uh, has an impact on duration and severity and an enormous impact on the transmission as being able to interrupt the transmission chains.